armhole could be six it could be seven it could be eight at most nine sometimes ten some people use eleven <laughs> of the video you should know that we are into our tutorial section today and i'll be teaching you how to draft a simple but nice pattern using the tape and a ruler we'll be using this piece of black fabric over here and i'll be using the chalk just so you could see exactly what i'm doing but if you are a beginner you should get your brown paper to do exactly what i'm doing right now so guys let's get into this video so first of all this piece of fabric is actually more than enough for me to do what i want to do because my measurements are small so for bigger measurements you may need um bigger fabrics or lengthier fabrics probably one yard one yard in our last tutorial we learned how to take measurements the shoulder measurements the bust measurements the shape measurements and the waist measurements and the hip measurements also so um during the bodice pattern you would need the shoulder measurements the bust measurements and the waist measurements and you would also need your shoulder to your bust measurements your shoulder to your waist measurement just like we learned last time so we're going to apply what we learned on the last tutorial here in our tutorial section today. So if you haven't watched the first tutorial, I'm going to drop the link in our description box below so you can get familiar with exactly what we're talking about. Whatever measurement that we are going to be doing here will be divided by four. Why? Because the body is divided into um, four parts. There's here and here. Here is the middle. The back also has a mid. So when we cross out this middle and the middle behind we're going to have one two three and four that's the simplest way i can actually explain it so any measurement you're taking on the body should be divided into one two three and four but the shoulders will be divided into two because we just have here and here we're not crossing out anything here for the shoulder so i think as you go forward you would understand what i'm trying to explain i'm using the measurements of a small child because i have a smaller fabric we have her shoulder as 10 and a half or 10.5 so we're just going to divide 10.5 into two we'll do that with our tape and we have 5.2 so we're just going to mark 5.2 here at the shoulder and we'll draw a line. Don't ever forget that you always have to add your allowance in anything you do. So we're going to have half inch here, we'll add it there. For allowance and we draw the line good now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the length of the child from her shoulder to her waist point and then we're going to add one inch allowance because we're going to actually bend the clothes here and we could bend the clothes here also from her shoulder to her waist would be 11 so we're going to add one inch i'm making it 12 now so this is 12. we are going to do that all round this line we have already drawn you could extend the line a little bit so we can take more of that then we connect the dots I'm supposed to use the ruler to do this, but I can't do it on this fabric. It's shaking. But please, when you're doing yours, use a ruler to give you more accurate measurement. The next thing we are going to do is to get the neck. The neck apart from the shoulder. Now, neck, uh, normal measurement for neck will always be three. Apart from maybe if the person has a wider neck or something like that but in most cases and in in all the cases i've seen neck is usually three so we are going to get three out of whatever we have 
put here you get three now if it's a child like in this case you can reduce the neck to about two or two and a half but nothing nothing less than two but i'm still going to put it as three because the tutorial session the depth of the neck depends on how deep you also want the cutting of the neck to be like something like what i'm wearing right now would be four it's not too high it's not too low but if you want a higher neck you can make it two and a half or three so we are going to mark let's just mark three here for the depth of the neck so it really depends on you if you want the neck to be really deep you can make it nine eight depending on all of that We've gotten the neck from the shoulder now the next thing we're going to do is take the measurements from shoulder to bust and from shoulder to waist we're doing that right now so from shoulder from her shoulder to her bust is about six so we mark six and then from sh her shoulder to her waist is 11 so we mark 11 now we are going to take her bust measurement and her waist measurement that round her bust and round her waist now this is exactly what i was trying to explain before when we did um the taking of measurements on a mannequin's body now when you take round the bust around the waist definitely you need to know where the bust falls in when you are cutting the clothes and where the waist falls in when you are cutting the clothes so that's exactly what we have done the shoulder to the bust point and the shoulder to the waist point is exactly what we have marked here so when we get this we can now do this and measure the bust round divided by four is what will give us the bust let's just do that immediately so that we see exactly what i'm trying to say practically so her bust measurement her bust round is 22.5 so we divide 22.5 into four like i told you before all body measurements divided uh, divided into four that's going to be 5.6 so we mark 5.6 here i hope you get so this 5.6 her waist measurement is 21.5 21.5 we divide that by 4 also and that will give us 5.3 and we mark 5.3 here now we come over to what we have marked and add our allowance don't ever forget to add your allowance let's do that immediately we add one and a half inch of allowance or two inches of allowance but i'm using one and a half any one that suits you better so we have our bust measurement and we have our waist measurement for the armhole measurement, the armhole is this area round here where the sleeves are attached. So our armhole could be six, it could be seven, it could be eight at most, nine, sometimes ten. Some people use eleven for when the gown is really, really free, etc. But for the standard measurement of armhole, I think you can use nine, you can use eight, depending on how small the person's bust is. Or you could just go ahead and measure around the person's armpit. But for this one, because it's a small child, we would be using five and a half as an armhole. So we'll just mark that. We would make sure the line of the shoulder connects straight. To this straight i'm using my free hand but you should use a ruler for this so you don't get it wrong and you open it up here so coming over to the shoulder we are going to leave 
half inch we are going to mark half inch here over here so we connect it from here to here this half inch here is giving this shoulder a slant obviously a human shoulder isn't straight especially for women but we have little slants that brings it down so that's exactly what we are trying to achieve by using this half inch here and slanting the shoulder down this way i'm going to carve out the armhole you see what i did there we carve it out nicely carve out the neck also you join the dots from the bust to the waist so we're going to cut this out this looks very nice we have our bodice pattern right here this looks really great if we had used the bigger measurements you probably would have seen it very well so this is how to cut your simple but thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to our channel comment down below if you have any questions to ask turn on your notification bell so you can see whenever we post a new video like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you next time please